Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to uninstall MySQL from Windows machine. Let's open a Windows machine where you have installed MySQL. So first of all, if you would like to take a look, you can go to services and there you should see MySQL service. Here you will click anywhere and then click M. So because uh, MySQL services uh, start with M. I have installed multiple instances of uh, MySQL. That's why you can see that I have a MySQL 2, I have a MySQL 8.0 and MySQL 8 AD. In your case, actually when you will install uh, MySQL, uh, so pretty much if you are installing uh, MySQL uh, 8.0, that's uh, what, what uh, the name of the service should be, MySQL AD. The, this, these names, uh, I have uh, defined them later because I wanted to install multiple multiple MySQL instances. I will have another video where you can see how I did that. Now as we would like to uninstall that, what we would like to do, we need to go to the control panel and before I go to control panel and start removing it, I will suggest you to take a look on some of the folders. So if you go on C drive, then you will go to the program files and here you have MySQL. And uh, you can see that uh, we have MySQL 8.0 uh, here and uh, you ha it has some uh, folders. Uh, this should be deleted once we uh, remove MySQL. Also on uh, C program data, there should be another folder. So this folder, if you see right here, MySQL, this will stay pretty much it. So we have to come and delete it. And uh, some, let's see what happened with this folder. If it is not deleted, we should come back and delete it. Uh, all these uh, different files are here. You can see all the uh, directory, all the data files are here. So it's a good idea to delete it. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the control panel and uh, where we need to uninstall it. We will uh, look for add, remove, programs so right here add more programs and now you can see that i have a mysql 8.0 installed here okay that's good we can just right click here and say uninstall it's going to uninstall only the mysql that i have installed by using the windows installer the other two services you have seen in my case right here they are not installed by the Windows installer. You cannot, uh, I try to uh, install multiple uh, instances or servers of uh, MySQL with the Windows installer, but I was not able to do it. So there is a step-by-step -step process how I did that. So if you will uninstall it, it will only uninstall the MySQL that you have used or installed with the Windows installer. The other uh, servers, if they are there, you have to find a different way uh, how you can remove those services. I have a, uh, I will create a video on that how you will remove those services. Uh, um, if you have installed multiple uh, uh, MySQL and you want to uninstall or remove those services, hit uh, yes, we would like to uninstall it. And now it is uh, uninstalled. Good. We don't see that anymore. And here, if we go back to the folder and uh, let's refresh the data here. So you can see that in program data, the folder is still there. So I will suggest go ahead and uh, hit a shift uh, delete and delete these items as well because uh, we don't really need this data as uh, one after the uninstalling. But if you are looking for maybe you want to reinstall my mysql later and uh, use those uh, databases there so i will suggest uh, do not remove those uh, folders uh, okay here you can see that uh, mysql 8.0 folder is uh, deleted uh, so we are all good here now uh, this is a way when you have installed only single uh, MySQL uh, uh, server on your machine and you want to uninstall it, you can go ahead and uninstall it from the control panel and add remove programs. Now in the next video, I will show you, I have uh, installed these other services uh, here, how I will remove them. They are also uh, my, uh, sorry, MySQL servers and uh, I will show you how to delete that because you don't see, if you go to control panel now again, you don't see that uh, we have a uh, uh, mysql servers installed so you, you look at here you, do you see any mysql server here no but if i will go to the workbench i still have those ones because i you i installed multiple uh, 
MySQL servers by, do, by using a different method. So let's see, connected here. So you will see that I still have MySQL uh, 2 uh, installed here. So, okay, I will make another video on that, how to uh, uninstall those services. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.